Hey everyone, here is the critical appreciation of Dance of Eunuchs. Actually, it is a, a poem by Kamla Das and the contents we will cover today are about poet first and then critical appreciation and at last conclusion. So, here is about Kamla Das. She was born on 31st March 1934 in Malabar district, Madras Presidency, British India and died on 31st May 2009 at the age of 75 in Pune, Maharashtra, India. Her pen name was Madhavi Kutti and by occupation, she was a poet, novelist, short story writer. Jona was poetry, novel, short story and memoirs. Notable works by her are Ante Katha, My Story, The Descendants, uh, An Introduction and of course The Dance of Eunuchs. Notable awards by her are uh, given to her are like this, Sahitya Academy Award, Asian World Prize, Asian Poetry Prize and Kant Award. Here is one quote by her and the quote is A poet's raw material is not stone or clay, it is her personality. This quote is by Kamla Das. So we are starting now uh, from the very beginning and it is introduction of the dance of eunuchs, critical appreciation of the dance of eunuchs. The dance of eunuchs by Kamla Das is a descriptive poem. It describes the dance of eunuchs in an Indian street. Obviously, they are trying to eke out a livelihood by dancing. The dancing is mechanical and painful. The conditions and the climate are forbidding. The spectators are merciless. Even God seems to add to their woes. Next is features of the eunuchs. It was very hot even before the eunuchs began to dance. They were wearing skirts. They had long braids. They wore jasmine in their hair and had green tattoos on their cheeks. They were generally dark though some were almost fair. They were thin in limbs and dry. Obviously they were underfed. Dance of the eunuchs. The eunuchs sang and danced. When they danced, their skirts went round and round. They danced to the accompaniment of the cymbals and drums. When they danced, their anklets were jingling and the cymbals produced loud music. They danced under the red gulmoha with their long braids flying and their dark eyes flashing as they danced barefooted in the hot sun. They bled. Theme of the dance of the eunuch is the, th the eunuch's voices are harsh and their songs are full of melancholy. The themes of the songs are those of lovers dying and children left unborn. Some beat their drums while others beat their flat breasts and wept. Their joy on their faces is only a mask as they rithe in pain and their faces are really vacant. Next is Das's sense of futility of her sexual experiences. The poem The Dance of Eunuchs was published in 1965 in Kamla Das's very first volume of the poems which appeared under the heading Summer in Calcutta. The tone of this poem is one of the frustration and the temper is a feeling of futility of love. The eunuch as we know is incapable of performing the sexual act and therefore of producing a child. In this poem the eunuch had be, has been regarded as a symbol of unproductiveness. The eunuch is here thus a metaphor for bareness and therefore for futility of love. Consequently, this poem is an expression in symbolic terms of Kamla Das's feeling of frustration in love. She seems here to be giving an outlet to her feeling of frustration in love. She seems here to be give, giving an outlet of her feeling 
of the futility of our sexual experience because of all those experience had failed to satisfy her emotional demands though they did satisfy and in full measure her sexual demands next is imagery in the poem there is an abundance of imagery in this poem even though it is short poem like most of her other poems it was very hot before the eunuchs came to dance wearing wide skirts and anklets and carrying cymbals when the eunuchs were dancing their skirts went round and round their cymbals produced a rich clashing sound and their anklets jingled jingled and jingled the eunuchs danced their dark eyes flashing they danced and oh they danced till they bled they had green colored tattoos on their cheeks and jasmines in their hair their faces were harsh and their song melancholy some beat these these uh, the drums and other bassed their sorry breasts and they withered in uh, withered in vacant ecstasy so these were the imagery imagery you know the feeling that what was the scene at uh, during this poem so it is shown in this in the imagery of the poem here i am covering a rhyme scheme stanza length closest meter closest stanza type and amount of stanzas see actually this was very really, uh, you know there was very really lack of information about this poem so i have covered some of them and rhyme scheme is as you can see on your uh, screens stanza length is 21 and closest meter is trochaic pentameter closest stanza type is sonnet and amount of stanzas is 2 the poem is covered in two stanzas next is average number of symbols per stanza is 520 average number of symbols per line is 49 next is average number of words per stanza is 87 and average number of words per line is 8 amount of lines is 21 next is mood of the speaker the phrase rhythmed in vacant ecstasy is very significant as a devastating image of the bareness of kamla das's own life the poem ends also with some images imagine imagery which conveys the poetess's um sense of futility of her sexual experiences by these lines the lines are the sky crackled then thunder came and lightning and rain a meager rain that smelt of dust in attics and the urine of lizards and mice next and the last is conclusion something which is blessing for the normal humans can be curse for those poor transgenders the poet intention is deeper she is a victim of society like the eunuchs the women are also treated as subhumans so this is the conclusion of the poem the dance of eunuchs thank you for now and bye to all